be excited um, for this. <laughs> Get yourself up for it, Con. Come on. No, I say I am. So excited. Hi guys. Uh, yeah, it's me. I'm actually trainer for the first time. Yeah. Three and a half years. <laughs> So, after three weeks out injured, this is my first proper goalkeeper session back. I can dive, I can do anything, so it's about coming through this one without any pain, and then I'm good to go. <laughs> to say I'm excited is an understatement, so let's go. Smashed him early doors, I'll be said not to do that. No, that wasn't you, that's just a dive. Was it impact? Just straight on it. You want some? Was it the impact or was it like just the actual extension no, of it? No, it's just the impact. It's when I land in here. Yeah. yeah. Right in that yeah, joint. It's not, it's not the stretch that is, it's the impact on the ground. It's not, it's not. Is it like when you just do like a little collapse dive, it's still the same? Or? You could just like little collapse you into it. I don't think it even, it's even that. I think it's just the impact of hitting the floor. It just went straight through it. Yeah. Other side will be fine because it'll be on this side. We can, we can do dives on that it's side. It's just whether this arm coming across will hurt him. Just try it, just try it short this side. Try it I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not devastating pain. It's yeah. just, I thought it wouldn't have anything if it did. Do is just focus on one side and change it. Yeah, let me try that side and see if it's, any, yeah, if it's anything bad. I'll come in a bit short and just try to start off. Yeah. So, body for you then, I'll check. Morning. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about my hand now, so just yeah. go off it. That's fine. That's fine. Do, do it 
So, when landed on that side, there's still pain in the joint, which I didn't think there would be. <laughs> which means I'm not fully fit yet, so still some work to be done rehab wise, but still stuff to work on it. between there though.
So, a bit of a mix session actually. I was really excited today to get my gloves on, goalkeeping in the sun, on the grass, but first dive on this side and I felt it right through the joint, which is where the issue is. I've done all the rehab, so all my ligaments are good, all my muscles are good, <clears throat> but there's obviously still a bit of an issue right in the joint where the bones meet and I'll have to go and see the physio about that. But I was still able to do some crosses, some volleys, some footwork, some distribution, still working on areas of the game, but this next week I can really build up that side of it whilst looking after this and finally getting rid of it. But after a hard training session like that, you need to recover in order for the next training session. And that means we've got a bit of an ice bath. So I've got to get in one of these. And I'm going to find out how long I'm supposed to get in it before I give you any wrong information. Six to eight minutes in the ice bath. That constricts your blood vessels, flushes out your waste toxins, reduces your swelling and your tissue breakdown. And then when you get back out of the ice bath, the heating up process, obviously, blood's going back around your body, helps with the healing process. So athletes will use ice baths when they've got quick succession training sessions or games. We've got a lot of games coming up, a lot of training sessions, and obviously I'm trying to recover this injury and all the training that I've done today. So the ice bath will be good for that. So six to eight minutes in this bad boy. You're gonna tighten that for me, Jim. Yeah, Woo! you're getting in at one minute 30 on our... Uh... That's gonna come out. I will go over here. Oh, bubba. I was gonna go all the way up to my neck because of my shoulder, but... Oh, yeah, I think you should. That's gonna push all the ice out. Is it cold? Yeah, very cold. Ah, oh, buddy! All the ice is staying in. Lucky me. Just <sighs> bend from the hips forwards, maybe. No, not your neck. Just dip my shoulder in. <laughs> I might actually do that. Yeah, I reckon you should get your shoulder in there. Ah. Oh, man. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Keeping Goals. Please subscribe, like, share. I reckon you should get your other shoulder in, Con. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so please press the like button. It helps us to share the channel and grow it. Ah. Please tune in next Sunday for another episode of Keeping Goals, where hopefully I'm not in an ice bath. But thank you for all the support. It means a lot. Please like, share, subscribe, I've said that already. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> How long is that? Two minutes. <laughs> Mind over matter. It's all about relaxing your body. Just switching off. I can't feel it. I'm on a warm, sunny beach. Five and a half minutes. Five and a half? Oh no. No, I lied. Four and a half. <laughs> Do you reckon you need to circulate the cool water around you a bit more? Move a bit? Nope. It's really but all, cold. all the water around you be getting warm now, so you should really like shake a bit so that you re get, you get the cold water around you again. Shake you in a bit. <laughs> You're quite pink. Good. Straight through it. Get out of the way. Do you want to do that? Ah, well. Sit down, Trevor.